Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Wolfie here, and today we are doing another video, and you're probably thinking, well, this is weird, he's doing a voiceover, and it's because I'm trying a new way of doing things. You can tell me in the comments if you want me to go back to my old way of doing videos, but yes, on my video on what cosplay I should do, I saw a comment saying you should do your own homemade suit, like what your own design is. And I thought that's a perfect idea because Into the Spider-Verse came out and I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I've just been in a Spider-Man mood. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Cue the intro. Okay, guys, so this is the hoodie I'm using. It is a, I don't know the brand, what's it called? Hurley, I think, yeah, Hurley. And this is a hoodie I don't use anymore. Um, it's pretty cool, it's red, and I think it'll be cool because then I can add blue to it and add blue to the arms and it'll be cool like variation of my own Spider-Man. So yeah, that's the hoodie. Okay, so next thing you will need is I have a red balaclava from this like race car place called K1 Speed. It's pretty fun and uh, I wanted to use this for a Spider-Man costume for a while. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to put it inside out and get rid of that logo. Next. Okay, so now we I have this, like, silver mask that you can't... Hello. But, like, you can see it out of, but, like, you can't see in, which is pretty cool. And so I want to use that for the eyes of the lenses. And then this piece of craft foam for the border of the lenses. Okay, guys, now I have red and blue t-shirts just to cover up this and add the blue. So, uh, yeah, now I'm going to get this and cut it so that way I can add it to the sides. And, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here's the line I drew. You can, you can see it pretty good. Yeah, I like the way I drew it. So now I'm going to cut it on both sides, and then I'm going to do it to that side, and then we'll glue it on. So I, I'm going to have it all cut up for what you'll see it in time lapse time for me gluing it on. Okay, so I glued this down and then I glued it in the back. And it's looking pretty good and now I've got to do the other side. <laughs> yes, this was pretty time consuming, but I'm going to jump cut to when both sides are done of these. So, yeah, see you in a sec. Okay, so now I have the blue on both sides. It's pretty even, but it doesn't matter because it's supposed to be like a homemade suit. And, yeah, now we're going to have to do it again, but for the arms so time to time lapse again So I finished with this side, I glued it on both sides, and since I don't want to have more footage to edit, I'm going to come back when that side is done. <laughs> Woohoo, let's go! Okay, so I glued the blue on. Now I have this piece of red, which I want to have like that. It's kind of like in the flash how he has that in season one. And I folded the edges, and yeah, let's glue it on. Time lapse time. <laughs> Okay, so I have it glued down. Now I'm thinking I kind of want to grab some black craft foam and glue like on the edges 
or something like that. Kind of like the homecoming suit has. Just to make it look like smoother and better. So I'm not sure if I'll do that. But I'm just going to cut out some pieces from that piece right there. And just see how it looks first. And yeah, let's do that. Time lapse again. Okay guys, this is the logo I'm deciding to go with. And I think it looks pretty cool. It's classic and I'm just going to be using a Sharpie or maybe some foam to get it on there. So yeah, another time lapse. Woo! Okay guys, so here is the spider. Um in cam in real life it looks much darker. Um I had to darken the filter a little bit more, but here's it brighter and normal. It's not that even here, but I think it still works pretty good because it's supposed to be homemade. And yeah, I like the spider design. And now what we gotta do is the back spider. And what I'm gonna do for the back spider is I'll probably do like the Amazing Spider-Man type back spider or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's do it. Okay, here's the back spider. It's like the Amazing Spider-Man one. It's just kind of simple. In real life, it looks much darker, and I like it better in real life. But, now, we gotta go into the worst part, which is the webs. I don't really need to explain that, because they're the webs. So, let's do the webs. Okay, here are the webs. I think I did them pretty good and equal. I really like how they look. It reminds me of Spectacular Spider-Man, this part. But I'm going to continue working on this in the morning because I'm pretty tired. So yeah, see you in the morning. Okay, it is the next day. And the only thing I've done is I've glued a little more parts like here. And I drew the marker on here. I want to do it on the hood, but I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. So I'm not going to for now. But now, um, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to work on. I think we're going to go and start to work on the mask. If you wanted to, you could just use your own Spider-Man mask, but I think that's too easy, and I want to try to make my own. So I do have the K1 Speed mask, and yeah, I think I'm going to cut off the top so it's kind of like a ninja mask around the mouth, like the Rosie Higgins design. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so I'm probably just going to cut it like straight through like right here and just see what it looks like when I put it on. So yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, so I have cut it and now I'm going to put it inside out. Now, let's see how I look. I look freaking dumb, but it's okay, because we can fix it up, make it look better. I'll probably like take in this and make it like that. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to get some hot glue and just put it there and glue it. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use a mannequin head. You can get these at like Michael's for like 10 bucks, I think. You can barely tell, it just kind of looks like wrinkles, but you can't tell, but I think it'll look better when I'm wearing it, so I'm going to try it on, and we'll see how it looks. I think I'm just going to put, like, one snap here, and then put a snap here, and then get like that. So, yeah. Okay, I have the mask on the mannequin. I cut off that little sliver, and now we can do the fun part, is drawing the webs again. Woohoo! Dime lapse time again! Mm. <laughs> Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. And now we can get on to my favorite part, which is the lenses. Okay, for now, for the lenses, I'm gonna use this faceless mask that I showed you. I got mine at Party, or uh, yeah, Party City. I think you get them at Spear Halloween, but I got mine during Halloween time. I don't know if they do, if they saw them not during Halloween time, but I don't, I don't think they do. You probably have to order it. But they're really good for using lenses if you don't want to use mesh. So, I want to base the eyes off these eyes. Okay, just because I like the look of them. And so, I'm just going to draw the lens shape. And, yeah. Time lapse time. Okay, that's close enough, guys. I just have that lens right there. And now, what I'm going to do is cut it out. And then we have this nice lens and it looks really good. And now that's where the craft foam comes in. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to get a pencil and just kind of trace around how you want the lens shape to be. Okay, there we go. I drew it out how I like it. I don't know if you can see it that well, but now we cut. Okay, it doesn't look that much like it right now, but I think it still works. I think it's still good. And now what you're going to want to do is just cut a hole for where this would go. You're going to want to put it over top of it. So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. I'm going to get it and then just do that. And then cut a hole like so. And then... I'll either do it like that, this is just an example hole, but like that, or I'll have it on the outside. I think I like it on the outside, it's just that the sharpie is shown. And since it's sharpie, you can't really get it off. But I don't think it matters too much if it has sharpie on it. So, yeah. I'm just going to glue it on like that for right now. And then I think what I'm going to do is put another piece of foam over top of it. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just getting this. Okay. 
Okay. And now I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. Like so. And then you have the lines. And that was just my first try. And it looks really good. It's kind of noticeable. But I mean, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make the other one. And I'll come back to you when I have the other one all done. Here are the lenses. I know they're not that even, but I really, really, really lo love how they look. And so now I think I'm going to use this silver string or something, I don't know, to hold them together or, or something. I'll, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to just use this or something like it to hold these together. So, time lapse time. gosh it actually does okay cool so here it is it kind of looks like freaking teen titans robin honestly i could use this to do that it's a good method but yeah now it's time to work on my favorite part about spider-man's gadgets the web shooters okay so for the straps for the web shooters just because i want them to look more homemade i'm using this old belt i used for rick and morty cosplay for rick um, don't ask. That did not turn out well, but, um, uh, yeah, this is what I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna use some, like, thick craft foam. Here's a little piece I'll show you. Here it is. It's, it's, it's thicker than a normal piece. This is what a normal piece looks like. That's how thick it is. Like, and then this is how thick this is. So you can see there's a difference, and what I'm I'm probably gonna be using that and some silver spray paint, and just random stuff like that that I find around my house. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, so I cut two pieces of the bell. I still have enough to make another one. And I just glued them together. And now I'm going to add like a piece of fabric or foam on the inside just to keep these together. So what I did is I added those the snaps to there and there. So now let's see if the snaps work good for this snapped. Perfect. Okay, you can see it like that. Fits perfectly. And then now I got my web shoe strap. It's a lot like the Amazing Spider-Man one. I really like it. And yeah, now I have to do it again, but before I do that, I'm going to work on the stuff that goes here. So I'm going to go find, or I'm going to go like, savage my house, and let's see if I can go find things. I'll be right back. This is what I got to go on it. I here, This one I already put foam on. I just glued a piece of foam there and there, and it's a battery charger thing. You put the charger in there and plug it into the wall for your like phone or iPad or something, or Kindle. But, um, yeah, this is what it looked like before, but I just added some foam onto it. And I'll probably paint it up, add some more details, and then I'll put it on it here. So, yeah, time for me to time-lapse me just doing a bunch more stuff for this cosplay. <laughs> So, I have both of them done, as you can see. This one is bigger, but I don't think it'll matter because my wrists will be farther apart. But it will be 
on like this. But what I'm going to add is I have pencils, which I will grab one right now. Okay. And you see how they have these tips? Well, you can unscrew them. And I think they're good for being nozzles for the lip sugars. So I'm gonna like cut it and they can make it look better and then I'm gonna glue it on, so yeah. Okay, I'm outside right now. And the paint I'm using, the Rust-Oleum American Accents Bonds to Plastic Silver. And I'm just gonna shake it and spray it. Okay, now that that's all spray painted, I'm gonna go watch a movie. Well, that dries. Okay, so I painted them silver, guys. And now I'm going to weather them, add some more details with the foam, and then I'll come back when they're all painted and all done. Okay, guys, this is them weathered. And I think they look so freaking good. Don't look at that. But I think they look awesome. I don't want to do any more details because I just love how they look. Don't mind my freaking fingers. are all dirty. Yeah, now I need to think of a way to get it onto the straps. I think I'm just going to use hot glue, but we'll see. Time for another time lapse. Okay guys, this is what the web shooter and the glove looks like. I made it so it doesn't connect and it's just kind of like, I don't know. I think that works better and I've seen some things do that. I think that looks pretty cool. So now I think what we got to work on is the pants. Okay guys, these are the pants I want to use. They look black on camera. I'm also, I have these Air Jordan ones that are from Into the Spider-Verse because they have blue seat. <laughs> And, yeah, I have these blue pants. You can't really tell they're blue on camera. I like how they look. I'm probably at, like, one red detail. But, uh, yeah, now it's time for the final review. watching this video if you liked it make sure to watch my other videos like this also it's stanley's birthday just happy birthday to him rest in peace and uh subscribe if you like my video